Good morning. In this video, we are going to learn how to find the sum of consecutive numbers. So the formula to calculate consecutive numbers, it only apply okay, when the numbers start with 1. Okay? So the formula is last digit multiplied by the last digit plus 1 divided by 2. So for example, the first two examples, we have the number start with 1 and we can use the formula. And then I'm going to tell you how to manipulate question 3 and 4 so that you can use them like what we did in question 1 and 2. So the first example, 1 plus 2 plus 3 all the way up to 50. And how you calculate the sum, very simple. You use this formula here. So it's going to be, you just look at the last number for 50. You multiply by the next number, 50. 1 because 50 plus 1 is 51 and you divide by 2 so that will be the sum if you put in your calculator it's going to be 2550 divided by 2 and the answer will come up to 1275 so that is as easy as 1 to 3 rather than you punching in the numbers in the calculator so now we do a more challenging question you have 1 to 1000. Okay, this question has appeared in some of the admission tests for universities and so forth. So this is how we do it. So you look at the last number here, 1000. So you're going to be 1000 multiplied by the next number or plus 1 to be 1001 and you divide by 2. That will be the sum. If you put in your calculator, the answer is going to be 1 million and 1000 okay check with the calculator and tell me whether i'm right so now we're going to do a modification of the question in example three you have two four six eight and all the way up to 100 so how you do it this is actually a simplified version of the first example so what you do you take the two out and this is the same as 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus all the way to 50. And you have found the first example, the, this part of the equation, the same as the first one. So 2 multiplied by 50 times 51 divided by 2. So it's 2 times this number, 1, 2, 7, 5. And the answer is 2,550. So this is just a modification of the first example. So the last question is question 4. What happens if it doesn't start from 1? So it starts from 11, 12, 13. So the trick is that you take from 1 to 30 and you minus the first number. So 1 to 30, you take 1 to 30 minus 1 to 10. Hope you get what I mean. Okay. So now we're going to calculate to 1 to 30. So you're going to be 30 times 31 divided by 2 and then you're going to minus 10 because 1 to 10, 10 by 11 divided by 2. So you use the calculator, 30 times 31 divided by 2 is going to be 465 and you minus 10 times 11 divided by 2 is going to be 55 and the answer is going to be 410. So that is how you're going to add the sum or find the sum of consecutive number if you have starting from one is no problem you just use the formula but if it is slightly different in a modification type you have to adjust to add to find the sum of the consecutive number so have a good day everyone and see you soon